Have you ever thought about why sets don't support indexing and why duplicate values are not stored? The reason could be the absence of the dunder get item method due to its unordered nature. For duplicate values, sets could have a mechanism like checking ID or equality comparison. But the answer lies in the internal workings of the Python set. A set in Python uses a hash table to store its elements. A hash table? Yup. A set's internal structure relies on hashing, where each item is stored based on a hash value computed from the item itself. This hash value determines the location of the item in the table. Because of this, the position of elements in a set is not fixed and can change as the set grows or shrinks. This further strengthens the impossibility of indexing. But how does all this happen? Here, this code with limited implementation simulates how the Python set saves values in a hash table and avoids duplicate values, if any. First, the instance of the custom set class is created. This creates a list with a length equal to capacity, initialized with none values. This list represents the hash table where elements will be stored. Next, the add method is initialized with the value 2. This value is then passed to the hashed method where the hash value is computed. Then, the code enters the while loop. Since the index is none, the code exits the loop and the value is stored at the hashed index. For the next value, the process is exactly the same. The value will be hashed and stored at the hashed index. This time, we are adding the value 12. First, the value is computed to get the final hash value. Next, the while loop checks if some value is already stored in the index, which in this case is true. Then it checks for the duplicate value, which gets false. Since the value is already stored at the hashed index, the code checks the next slot. Here, in this case, the next slot is empty, so the value gets stored there. Now this time, we are trying to add a duplicate value. The process will be the same. But when the code comes to this part, the condition here becomes true since the hashed index and the given value are equal. This means the same value is already present at the index, so this value won't be added to the table. We can now print the output that represents our hash table. Well, that was not the actual implementation of the Python set, but yeah, this could be the accurate simulation of the working of sets.